Hi there, my name is Jane and this is Loopy Mabel's Closet. Thanks for joining me today. So today's vlog is all about Mabel the Mannequin. A few of you have asked me if I would just go a little bit into more detail on what she can do in your dressmaking and I just thought I'd do a little vlog and share her with you. I am with my Mabel the mannequin. This is Mabel mannequin number two. She was replaced not so long ago because Mabel mannequin number one was the medium size and because I've lost weight, sorry to keep harping on about I've lost weight but I've, obviously I've lost weight and I couldn't reduce her down any smaller to get anything that I was making on her. That I couldn't even get a t-shirt that I'd made on her because I just couldn't get them over the shoulders because I just couldn't get her to be any smaller. So John says, well, just get yourself um, a smaller one and see if you can sell Mabel Mannequin, the first one, and then put that money towards it. So she has now gone to a lovely lady who doesn't live that far from me, about five miles away from me, and she's in her new home, Mabel Mannequin number one. Uh, John bought me it for my 50th birthday and I've had well use out of her uh, four years now so um, and she has been well and truly used so this vlog really is because quite a few of you said to me would I just show you a little bit more detail on what the mannequins do before obviously you splash out on some money to buy one because they are quite expensive and they can range in different various prices um, this one and Mabel mannequin version one they were just over a hundred pound. She full price. She, I think she's about one hundred and forty. But when I went and got this one, she was in the sale, the polka dot one anyway. And I thought that will do for me. So she was just over a hundred pound. So they are quite a lot of money to fork out. But it's an investment for me anyway because I know she's going to get well used, like the other Mabel was. And they vary in different prices. You can get maybe them a little bit cheaper, but I'm not sure whether they have all the full adjustments on them. And they can go way up into the hundreds where you can get them where they come off like a hanger. So you can put trousers on your mannequin and you can do all those type of things. And you, some of them come with arms hooked on, you know, really, really more expensive for the really uh, professional dressmaking. But it depends what you want. It depends how much you want to spend. So uh, this, she's more than ample for me. I mean, if you've been following me along, you know I'm on a dressmaking journey. I totally am. Still learning, learning every day. And she has definitely been here to help me. Originally, I've only, it's only really this year that I've really started looking into getting a better fit on the things I'm making for myself because I've got quite a few things in my wardrobe that aren't the perfect fit. Maybe the darts could have been moved the shoulders could have been taken in or you know what or the length or or whatever so so this year i've been starting to look a little bit more at getting a better fit and also i'm wanting to now go down the line of doing a bit more pattern hacking a bit more tweaking just to add a little bit more of my creativity into my dressmaking and i mean i love following patterns i love the downloadable patterns pdf i've got a few printed patterns um, and I'll still continue to get those patterns if something inspires me or I really like. But also I'd like to be able to maybe tweak the pattern, hack the pattern, or down the road I would like to create my own patterns, just for me obviously. And I've been working on my bodice block and I'll show you my twalls on them in a moment. But back to Mabel. So me personally because I want to do all those things and be creative in my dressmaking she's worth every penny but if you're only going to get if you're only going to do a little bit of dressmaking now and then and you're just going to follow a pattern and you're not interested in hacking or doing a little bit of tweaking then I'm not sure whether you're going to get your money's worth buying one it's entirely up to you but I'll show you what she this my mannequin does so she has a, a, an adjustments all over she's got the bust adjustments the waist adjustments and the hip adjustments she'll go higher and lower on her stand and she's also got a hem gauge at the bottom here which i'll just show you just move the camera down so you can see what i'm talking about um you can see she's got the hem gauge the hem gauge there 
So you just adjust it. There's, there's um, markings on the side of the pole here and you just obviously raise and lower your hem gauge to whatever you want your hem. And it's got like little clips and you would just use it to clip the length of your hem if you're doing anything like that. I don't, I've never used it yet because I don't really make skirts as such, but it's there to use. And as I say, she's on the pole, which goes right, you know, right up inside. So you can't do trousers or anything like that on her because that would be in the way. But skirts, dresses, blouses, vests, t-shirts, all that on mannequin she can do. So she adjusts at the neck. So there's a, there's a dial at the neck so you can open and close the neck width. There's a little pin cushion at the top also. And then obviously you've got the dials at the front. Then you've also got some dials at the side and again in the back and then again in that side. So she's full of different dials. Obviously, if you're going to get her, you're going to put her to the size that you are. Now, as I said, this is the small, so she'll only go down to the minimum size and up to a maximum size so if you're going to order one make sure you pick the one where your sizing is going to fit in because when I originally got my Mabel the first time I just ordered I didn't look at the sizes I just ordered the mannequin and they sent me the small one and she was just too I couldn't get in because I was bigger then she was no good so I had to send it back and they replaced it and got me the medium one so you just need to be aware of the sizes and you have to make sure that you fit in I just got my glasses so this one she Bust, she starts off at 33 bust and she'll go up to 39 bust inches, 26 inch waist up to 32 inch waist, 36 hips all the way up to 42 inch hips. So the idea is you take your body measurements, just move the dials to the arrow to wherever you want to be and again at the side you would adjust them to fit but to make sure you've got it spot on you would then obviously take your body measurements. Now the best way to take your body measurements is if you have your bust, obviously your waist and your hips and you pop some elastic on yourself. Now you're better off wearing a vest and some leggings so you've got nothing in the way and you're going to get proper accurate body measurements and elastic and you put them put your piece of elastic on the fullest part of your bust and you've got to make sure but just pretend this these are on me you've got to make sure that they are perpendicular to the floor when you put them on you same with the fullest part of your hips and then again for your waist now I'll just pop this one on my waist pretend I've got a vest a vest on and leggings or what have you you would tie your elastic and then to, you need to find your natural waist, so you, you just give it a bit of a wiggle and a turn, bend to the side a few times. That elastic will automatically find, will find your natural, your natural waist, it will find it. And from there, you would then put your tape measure round and measure on that elastic. So I'm not very good, it's not, but you get the gist. So you put your tape measure around where the elastic is and that, that because that's your natural waist so 29 for me and then obviously those are the measurements you would then adjust Mabel on the mannequin so I would obviously see what she's set at her waist at the minute is set at 30 so I just have to move her to 29 and again on the side which is 29 just bring it in a little bit so she hits 29 waist a little bit more like so and then obviously she can be adjusted if you put a few pounds on or you lose a few pounds uh, so that's the beauty of her being adjustable too you can get them where they just come in one set size uh, but obviously you can't adjust them so it depends what you want and what you're hoping to do with them let's take this elastic off So, and then also you can keep your elastic on your mannequin as well and you can use that if you're doing twirls and make sure that you've got your waistline correct where your natural waist is and let me just measure her, let me just see if she is on point to my measurements. That's it. Twenty. 
went well near enough 29 and a half there so I just need to tweak her a little bit more to get it to my measurement probably haven't got the elastic elastic in the right spot so you just tweak it until she is exactly you and obviously you can raise her and lower her to whatever height you want to work with and she's covered in like this fa fabric so she's ideal or intended for pinning your twirls on you could do your tissue fitting on her and obviously um, she is just there for you to rotate and see if you can stand back and do you like the look of what you're making does it look right is it fitting right um, for example my ruffle sleeve top that I did my version 3 where I had I took a tiny bit off the shoulder because on when I put it on Mabel the mannequin the white one that I made the shoulders were hanging off a little bit there and I could see it straight away on the mannequin now that I'm looking more at the getting my fit right I could see straight away that I needed to lift it up slightly so I just had the ruffle sleeve top the white one on here and I just lifted it up and I measured the difference and it was one centimeter so I knew I needed to take one centimeter off the front of the shoulder and again obviously because you've, you've got to do the same on the back to make sure that they're both equal up when you sew them together and that's how I knew that it was slightly out and I need to do an adjustment and I probably wouldn't have known that otherwise and I certainly wouldn't have looked at that this time last year but now I am so I'm working as you know if you've been following me I'm working on getting my bodice block so I can then create some uh, patterns of my own just for myself and it's been so difficult because obviously it's really helpful if you have somebody to help you take your measurements and obviously with lockdown my daughter couldn't take my measurements for me so the first time around I took my measurements and this is the first one I did as best I could because obviously I, I did I couldn't really see the tape measure what if I've got the tape measure right at the back so I did my first twirl for my body for my block my bodice block and as you can see I got my bust measurement completely wrong not too bad on the waist the waist is pretty darn good and the hip line see there's my hip line a little bit low I could have maybe just raised my measurements above for my natural hip uh, but not too bad on the waist I got that quite right and I got the shoulder lengths right but when you turn her around I got my back measurement way off I mean look at that but that was really hard for me to I was trying to hold the tape measure and measure my back between the the shoulder blades and every time I took it it was a different measurement and I just thought well whatever I took the measurement thinking it was the right one and you can see I haven't got that right and I've also done my from my nape of my neck to my waist I have done that measurement completely wrong I mean look at that you can see straight away let me tape measure and show you this is what I mean when you can see how much adjustment you're going to need so for example you can see there's far too much length in that section there so if I just measure this side which is an inch so obviously it's going to be an inch that side so it's two inches I was two inches out there so I'd, I don't know what I was doing but I can see straight away when I do my version three I've done two versions now of twirls uh, version one I could see straight away I had to adjust the length back length so that was what I did but I, the darts are pretty good I'm quite happy with the way the darts are sitting on me and uh, you know the length isn't too bad the waist is pretty good on version one, but the bust I was way out, way out. So then I did twirl two. This is all, this is what I'm using it for, which is exactly what I wanted. So, but it's, as I say, it's depending on what you want. If you're just going to do a little bit of sewing here and then, you're not going to go down all this and you're not too bothered about fit or the fits seems to find fit you absolutely fine on, on the commercial patterns, then, you know, it may not be worth the investment it's, it's you know it's, it's, it's a thing you need to think about so this is twirl two and you can see i adjusted the bust much better fit waist much better fit and the hips again fine the darts i mean the darts i think i could have done with lowering the darts slightly for my uh bust point but won't need a tweak but when you come to the back you can see i've got my arm side depth it's, just, it's not deep enough so I've obviously done something wrong there and you can see I've managed to get rid of quite a lot of that fabric that I had there but I've got too much of a tightness going on here now on the neck area so I must have took my neck measurement wrong 
so I'm working on twal number three but I'm getting there and hopefully I might get to twal five or six draft you know five or six but once I've got it and it fits on Mabel spot on that will be my bodice block and that from that bodice block I will be able to create hopefully lots of different blouses and bodices and dresses and what have you and just get my creative juices going I can't wait for that to happen but this is an ongoing thing I'm not going to rush it and it takes time it takes a good three to four hours each time you put your measurements on your paper and you do all the points A to B, B to C, D1 to D2 and Oh, all that it does take th about three four hours to do and then obviously you've got to then transfer it to your toile so you toile up and then try it on so it's a good good chunk of a day when you're doing this and I have to set aside that time so this is an ongoing thing but like I say I am using her to the full I absolutely love her I'd be lost without her she's also ideal for when you want to let your fabric hang overnight if you before you want to hem anything just pop it on her and she can wear it all night long and if it's gonna the fabric is gonna drop or loosen a little bit then she will do it it will do it on the mannequin and then you can see and then you can do your hemming and what have you and use the gauge at the bottom uh, what else do I love about her oh, I just love the fact that she's just great to just a quick pin on a tissue you know a tissue fit just before you even go down the line of getting your fabric cut or anything like that you can literally pop your tissue pattern on and see is this gonna is it gonna fit on my shoulder does well I need to do a shoulder adjustment before I even start off uh, you could do a tissue fit and think oh I might need to grade between the two sizes I find at the bus but I need to take a grade down to the waist you could put your tissue on pin it pin it and tick like for example just pretend this is a tissue or with your toile and you can see well I wanted to just to pretend oh, I, just, I need to take a bit off there so you would pin it there and then you think well it's fine at the hips so I need to grade at the waist and then come back out to the hips and then you would take your measurement I'm no expert so uh, don't quote me on this but this is what I've been doing and this is working fine and there's loads and loads of brilliant tutorials out there great to do this moss you know spot on than I'm doing but this is what I've been learning and obviously say for example I want to do a bit of pattern grading yeah just say for example it's a centimeter I need to do I don't know half a centimeter in at the waist then you know you can go back to your pattern and you can measure from the you know from the arm to that point where it needs to come in because you've got your natural you've got your waist so you've got your elastic there you measure to there and you know well you need to go down on your pattern 20 centimeters and that 20 centimeters then they need to take a centimeter grade it in and it's just like wow how easy how simple is it if you look at it it's quite you know a little bit mathematical a little bit which I'm rubbish at um, but it's really exciting I'm loving I'm loving all this because it's just like getting your brain working and it's all about the end result isn't it and if you want a really nice garment that fits you perfectly then it's, it's she's well worth it so I would say yes if you want to go and do all those things that I'm doing you want to challenge yourself and you want to be creative and start thinking outside the box then yes she's well worth it definitely well worth it so I hope I've given you a little bit more insight into whether a mannequin is suitable for you as I say I love her I would be lost without her I think she's great and um, if you like today's vlog thumbs up would be great if you want to ask me any more questions if I've missed anything off just pop me a message in the box below and I'll try and answer you as best I can and I can I just say thank you to all those lo you lovely people that are buying me virtual coffees you're so kind it's so lovely and all proceeds are going back in to me continuing to grow my channel and uh, thank you so much it's really really kind and generous of you it really does make my day when I have a little phone when my phone pings and somebody's bought me a coffee so thank you so much uh, but I enjoy doing it so there's you do not have to feel obliged to do that at all I enjoy doing it anyway and uh, so I've got lots more coming your way as usual I say that every time don't I I've got a couple of co collaborations I've been working on with two lovely ladies and I've got my saw the look coming as well so lots to come I've got a lovely Felicity Fabrics uh, make coming for my blog on Felicity Fabrics so loads and loads coming and uh, yeah so that's it so please take care hope you please take care don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and I shall see you on my next vlog take care for now and as always happy sewing